There we go. Uh, huh. All right, I will wait until we are started, and there it goes. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. I posted the uh, the uh, call for the stream, and then, of course, uh, I ran down to the laundry room because um, it's still too high. I ran down to the laundry room because I had forgotten that I had laundry in the washing machine, and so um, I, I posted the, the stream cast uh, announcement thing, then I re remembered it was in the washer, I ran downstairs, and then I put it in the dryer, and then I came up here and started the stream. So anyway, tonight we are making chicken, and it's going to be good chicken. Um, I'm going to do barbecue chicken, I think I'm going to do a little bit of fried chicken too, just for funsies. And herb chicken. I don't know. Um, I've got like three chicken breasts and I could do them in different ways or the same ways, but I've got some Asiago cheese bagels to eat them on. So let's uh, let's weigh our options here. And while we are, we can get this chicken out. Um, it seems kind of silly to only fry one of them, but I'd like to have some fried chicken on the side, so we might do that real quick just for a goof, you know? And it doesn't really hurt anything, um, although I am trying to eat healthy, so fried chicken might not be the best way to go. Um, of course, I'm frying all of it just different ways. Uh, yeah, so we will reserve one and cook the other two. So let's get started on the other two because they will take a little bit longer. And while they're cooking, we can be working on the breading for the third one. What do y'all think? So. What I think would be a good idea is to set that over on the sink. And we can just get that going. There we are. Let's trim this up into smaller pieces. Because remember, we are eating this on bagels as kind of a sandwich, so smaller pieces will be good and easier to deal with. That's too thin, although I could do some like that. That wouldn't be bad. Might be good for the barbecue ones. That's right, we're doing some barbecue ones. So how's y'all's day going? There's a holiday coming up on Monday, at least if you're in the United States. Well, a bank holiday, anyway. Um, though, uh, and you know, come to think of it, I'm surprised I haven't heard the neighbors setting off fireworks, because this is kind of one of those fireworks sort of holidays. But, uh... There we go. All right, we'll put that away. And I will start cooking up this one, and we'll save the big one for the fried chicken. Um, there we go, just trim that up and make it all pretty. tell y'all, it has been a long, long week. I went in and they ran a tube down my throat the other day. So you guys may or may not know I've had a fairly stressful year or two. And um, so I thought the uncomfortable tightness in my chest was just stress and uh, anxiety from all the stuff that I've been dealing with. Well, you know, and to some degree it sort of is, but what it also is, is 
esophageal erosion so, <laughs> from all the stress. So they ran a tube down my throat, and uh, they're ruling out a couple of things, none of which are really serious. But uh, um, that said, I've had a long week, and I am tired. Um, so when they tell you don't sweat the small stuff, believe them. Of course, none of the stuff I've been sweating could be really considered small stuff. It's kind of all been big stuff, but hopefully we've got most of that out of the way. So real quick while this butter melts, and I'm going to turn that way down low, because I forgot to cut up an onion for this. So let's get this onion going. This is an older onion. I hope it's okay. We're going to find out, aren't we? Come on, guys. Let's examine this onion. If it's okay, we'll use it. If it's not, we will use onion powder. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's beautiful. So we'll cut off the top, which is a little spongy. some chicken. A couple of different kinds of chicken, in fact, although all of it is going to be, um, you know, pan fried in some way, shape, or form. I think I'm also going to do like fried fried chicken for some of it. Um, so what are you up to and are you enjoying your weekend? And I forget, are you in the United States? If so, happy almost Labor Day or happy Labor Day weekend, I guess it is. Um, and if you're not in the United States, well, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, wait, you're in, you're in Oxford, aren't you? You're in Oxford, um, which is awesome. That's right, we talked about that. And I will see what you're up to in just a second. Um, Woo, Wildfire is hosting! Thank you, Wild, what you up to today? I'm making chicken. Um, lots of it, in fact. Um, and I'm going to need that cutting board. For me, so I'm going to put that over there. What you up to today? Anything good? And I know you're not in the States, so I don't need to tell you happy day, Labor Day weekend, although uh, happy Labor Day weekend anyway. <laughs> oh, if I look tired, it's because I am. <laughs> Oh, that's right, Pennsylvania. Who is it that's from Oxford? I get people confused, but um, that's right, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is nice. Uh, I've only been once or twice, but uh, I like Pennsylvania. Um, Philly's cool. Uh, let me get this onion going here real quick. So what you guys up to this weekend? Anything fun? Let's cut up an onion while we talk. saying in just a minute so that I don't mince my fingers off. There we go. See a nice fine mince on that. There we go. Now, what are y'all up to? Let me spin y'all around here. Hello. Uh, he's been good. Let's see. 
happy about making Stromboli. Ooh, Stromboli. I love Stromboli. With turkey pepperoni, huh? Well, that sounds good. I need to do that real soon. There we go. Chicken. Um, now let's get some herbs on this. Uh, first of all, we'll do some sage. And uh, I want parsley. Basil and oregano, I think. There we go. So, basil. And a little oregano. Couldn't hurt. Donde esta mi oregano? I have like a giant thing of it. Oh, I'm out. Huh. Well, luckily, I probably have some over here. Granderton. I'm almost out over here, too. Well, well. I need to get some oregano. Who, th who would have thought? You know, it seems like one of those spices that's always just there, you know? <laughs> um, what else? Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And then a little more butter on top of it. To just kind of let it slow cook. And we'll let that cook down a minute while we prepare for the fried chicken. Yeah, yeah, you know, the turkey, uh, the turkey products like, you know, turkey sausages, turkey, uh, uh, turkey pepperoni, turkey bacon, things like that, they are a whole lot less greasy than their counterparts. Um, and they taste, you know, there is a difference in flavor, but it's negligible. You know, it's, it's good stuff. Um, we're about to cut up the chicken for the uh, fried chicken, but first let me get these onion skins out of the way. There we go. Uh, let me tell you guys, I have had a long week. Hmm. Oh, one of my floor tiles is cracked. I wonder how that happened. Oh well. There we go. Let's turn that up just a little bit and add some butter to it. There we go. A little more. Because the butter makes the chicken good. <laughs> and so does the onion. There we go. Okay, fried chicken. So we're going to cut this a little differently than the other pieces of chicken. We want it in longer strips. And so we want to kind of unfold the chicken breast first and get a bead on where everything is on it. And then we're going to do strips about like that. On the other hand, there's still some real decent meat on it. So, okay, let me wash my hands and I will spin you guys back around to this side. And we will go from there. All right. Hello. <laughs> now, since that's destined to be fried chicken, we need to do two things. First of all, we need a small pan, which I already have, right here. And we need to put some cooking oil in it, which I have right here. And then 
we're going to get it warm and ready to fry. So while I start heating that up, let's get some uh, flour. No, that sugar, where's my flour? Oh, I'm running a little low on flour as well. It might be time for me to restock. chicken, but I thought this time we'd do something a little different. Why don't we do a wet batter? So, I thought, a little milk. There we go. Now, of course, we're going to want to do some herbs and spices. The important one being some salt. I'm not going to do the salt bay thing, because I'm just not. A um, little pepper. Actually, come on over here. Ooh, someone's talking. Stock market is good in some sectors. Negative 4%. Are you nice! Well, there you go. You've almost got it back to even. That's great, dude. Or do that. Um, but that is awesome. We are going to put salt. We're going to put pepper. We're going to do coriander, uh, and I am going to do celery salt in this. There we go. And that's going to be a nice breading and batter for this chicken. Probably a little too much for this amount of chicken. But, oh, come on. going to mix this up into kind of a thick batter, which is going to be great. And we want to take the time to bust up all those little pills of flour, because those won't bust up on their own, and they will make it kind of grainy and dry. Now, I don't have quite enough liquid in here, so just a little, like a tablespoon of water, and that will kind of get it all that's good. Here's hoping your portfolio kind of continues its upward trend. That's a great thing. All right, so we're going to get this stirred and flipped over, make sure this chicken is cooking evenly. Come on, flip over. There's a lot of water in the onions, and it tends to kind of simmer the chicken more than fry it, and that's why I like to put butter in it, because you know, as it dries out, you know, the butter will brown it, but we're probably going to need to throw a little more in towards the end after the onions start to kind of lose their moisture. Um, if you want to avoid that, you cook it at a higher temperature and it kind of, uh, it kind of uh, sears the chicken, but the problem with doing that is it's hard to do that and keep your eye on multiple things at the same time, like our batter over here. So, let's get this completely it up, and that looks about ready. You know, that's a good batter for our chicken. So, uh, there we go. Track on YouTube videos. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, um, I don't know if I have links enabled or not, but uh, private message me with your, uh, your YouTube channel link. I'll check that out. Um, and again, I don't know if I have links turned on or off, but I'd hate for the, I'd hate for the robot to, you know, time you out or anything if, uh, if they're not. So I, I'm, you know, I'm notoriously bad about doing anything with my Twitch settings or stuff like that. I just kind of, oh, I'm going to stream on, you know, I had notifications set up and they're not working, and you know, hell if I could tell you why. But, uh, you know, I'm like, I should probably check on that. Well, that was like four or five streams ago. 
Yeah, that's not hot enough yet. Um, it's getting there. But that's kind of coming into its own. So I'm actually going to play hot potato with these, or musical chairs, I should say. I'll move this over here, and I'll move this over here, and we'll just kind of swap these out so you guys can see what's going on with the fried chicken. Now, for the fried chicken, I am going to actually, uh, hang on. Get you a plate and get you some towel paper and it'll absorb the grease off the chicken when we get it out. Um, but that should do the trick. Okay. Now, easy peasy, we just throw our chicken into the batter and kind of turn it over and get it well and good and coated and all that good stuff. It'll be real tasty. So, there we are. Let's see what we got. That is almost hot enough. Not quite. You can take one tiny, tiny, tiny little droplet of water and like toss it into the oil, and you'll know when the oil's hot enough because. It'll start going, you know. That's not ready yet, but it's getting close. Meanwhile, this can actually be turned down a little bit. That chicken's probably done, but I want to make sure that it is all the way through. Oh, yes, that's tasty. So, another thing that's always good to have out when you're frying chicken Just cause. All right, that oil smells hot enough. There we go. That's what you want from a drop of water. Okie dokie. So get our battered chicken and just set it down real easy into that oil. Uh -oh. That one's losing some of its batter. Shake it off. And set it down. There we go. Now we put the other chicken into the batter. Actually, there's probably room for... No, there's not room for one more piece. So we'll just let that sit there for a minute. And wash our hands, and we'll keep an eye on this stuff. There we go. And we'll check on our other chicken while we're at it and see if it needs any butter or anything else. Ooh, that smells good. Whew! Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. And Acorn has sent me a link, so I will post it. Link. There you go. I hope that's to a YouTube channel and not some virus. <laughs> no, I'm teasing you. I trust you. Let's flip this over real quick. Come on. There we go. I need to just roll that over with something. Come on. This particular batter recipe is slippery and hard to get a hold of with tongs. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Mm, that's really good. No problems. I got 
that? Yeah, that's fine. Um, so this chicken is actually done. I'm just going to turn it off and let it sit. This stuff, on the other hand, oh man, that's looking good. Just go ahead and flip that again. This chicken over here, we're going to do two things with. Some of it we're going to leave just as is. Some of it we're going to make barbecue chicken out of. And so I will have three kinds of chicken to eat. And it will be wonderful. on some Asiago cheese bagels. So, <laughs> we're looking forward to that. I think one more flip and we're probably done. into something like this and find the center is still pink. Medium rare beef is wonderful. Medium rare chicken, no, it's a good idea. open and make sure it's done on the inside. Uh -oh. Come on. Here we are. There we go. There we go. Nice. piece of chicken in there. There we go. Now I'll wash my hands off and I'll see what it is that we got going here with these pieces I already fried up. So, a knife is necessary. And come on over here. We'll cut into these and make sure that they are in fact version of this, it's very simple. We just take some of these, about half of them, and 
There we go. Yummy, yummy. Don't that look good? But we're not done with it yet. Oh, wait. Mm. Onions. Other goodies. Now, highly technical secrets here. We take and we put barbecue sauce in it. Yay! And then we give it a quick toss. And that's it, really. Got here. And there we go. Barbecue chicken filling for barbecue chicken sandwiches. Mm. All right. Uh oh. Let's flip this. All right. Not going to be any of the other time left if I don't stop eating it. What do you guys do? That's what I'm writing with you, Mike. Cool! That sounds like fun. Those little bad boys are cooking up delicious. All right. Now, towards the end, we're going to post up some of these bagels and put some cheese on them. I had some lettuce, but it's gone off a little bit, so we're not getting our leafy greens today like we ought to, but it'll be okay. Sweet counts as a vegetable, right? Frying chicken, it makes a bit of a mess of your stove, but hey, it's worth it. So let me wrap up this. Thing of trimmings here. So that we can kind of get a head start on cleaning up the kitchen. that outside. Well, that's cool! This sounds like fun. Whoop. There we go. And there'll be one more piece after that. that up real good, make sure that, and we dry our hands before we reach our tongs over this, because water and hot oil do not mix, like at all, okay, there we go, last piece, come on, get plenty of That's cool. <laughs> that sounds fun. Now, do you stream any? Like games or anything like that? I 
feel like I asked that before, but if I didn't, I'm sorry. And if I did and I forgot, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to try some of this barbecue chicken. Mmm. Yep, that's good. All right. We'll put this butter away. It needs a little salt, though. Now, while we're waiting for this last piece to fry up, we're going to do ourselves a nice little sandwich here. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I want this plate. Okay. Well, that's kind of stuck sizzling. We need to turn it over. There we go. You develop kind of an ear for frying things. You can sort of hear when they're ready to turn over. Especially things with a lot of moisture in them, like meats or certain vegetables. We are going to have this bagel. Santiago cheese bagel. Yummy. Um, and we're going to go toast it while we're at it. So, yay. Um, and we're going to toast it with some cheddar cheese on, because if the Asiago cheese wasn't enough, we'll now have cheddar as well. If I can get into it. Come on. That's why you shouldn't trim your fingernails too short. <laughs> You can't get into anything. <laughs> okay. Let's put some cheese on one side of this. There we go. Cheese on. And I'm going to go stick this in the toaster oven real quick. Tray in or tray out? That is the eternal question. laptop cord out of the way because we don't want to melt our laptop cable while we're at it. Uh oh, uh oh. Time to get this out. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that one's a little overcooked, but that is okay because it's still going to be delicious. And we'll just turn that off. And we'll figure out something to do with all that hot oil in a minute. In the meantime, look at our glorious fried chicken. <laughs> That's going to be good. I'm going to enjoy that. Um, I'm probably going to eat it on a bagel as well. Uh, now our... Let's just kind of play the uh, musical chairs game again. There's our other chicken, and I've kind of got it all stirred up and scooped up, but... Um, that's the remainder of the last of it, and we're just going to eat that as it is, because these little, these little you know, caramelized onions that are in with it. Mmm. Those are just wonderful. And they're going to be great in sandwich form. Now, when that oil is cool enough, I'll probably pour it into a Gatorade bottle or something and dispose of it correctly. But in the meantime, uh, it's going to sit there and cool down. Hey, Jeffers UK! Woo! Welcome to the stream! We have made all kinds of goodies. We're toasting up some Asiago cheese bagels to make sandwiches. We have got herbed chicken and onions. Uh, we also took some of the herbed chicken and onions and made barbecue chicken to eat on sandwiches. And I also made uh, breaded fried chicken. I bought chicken today, obviously. And the title up there says chicken. Um, what you up to today and how you doing? I'm also toasting up one of these with some cheddar cheese on it so that we can make our sandwich. Um, at which point I'll probably go to clean up my kitchen and throw the stream over to someone. 
What, what have you been up to today, and are you enjoying your weekend? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I fried uh, chicken, and that always spatters grease everywhere, but, you know, it's not, I mean, it's not like it's filthy or anything, but, you know, I like my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. But, then again, it is a little bit cluttered, so... <laughs> Oh, man. How's your weekend going? And are you up to anything fun or good? Thanks. Let's see here. I'm keeping an eye on these, uh, these bagels in the toaster because I don't want them to get real hard or anything. I want them toasted enough to where they're pleasant and toothsome. And I want the cheese on top of half of it to melt. But other than that, you know, they don't need to get, like, really crunchy or anything. Yeah, the chicken is going to be great. Let's, uh, while we're at it, let's sample some of this fried chicken. Doesn't that look good? Mmm, that looks really, really good. Mmm. Let's see. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what that tastes like? Mmm. Especially with that little bit of cornmeal we put in there for the batter. That tastes like those old, like the fried chicken you'd get in an old tavern or something like that. You know, you go to the tavern and you get the fried chicken and the, the big, delicious, greasy French fries next to it. And they all come like in a little styrofoam box with the wax paper around them. Mmm. Yeah. It tastes, it tastes like the sort of breading you get at Long John Silver's or something, you know? Mmm. Yeah. I'm glad. If I make you want food with the food I'm cooking, it means I'm doing a good job somewhere. <laughs> so, let me get this bagel out of here real quick. Come on. Hold up. Okay. So this, well, that's the bottom, is an Asiago cheese bagel. Um, I've also put cheddar cheese on it. And we're going to make it into a sandwich here real quick. Um, so, let's take some of this and just put it right on top here. And I'm going to get some smaller pieces, because the bigger pieces for this we can cut up and kind of make them easier to eat for a sandwich, or we can pick at them individually, which is what I'll also probably do. Um, but yeah, smaller pieces tend to be good for sandwich use because you don't have to bite all the way through them to take a bite of the sandwich. Put a little more onion on that. Yummy! Okay, so there is our chicken done up with butter, mm. onion, parsley, um, sage, and basil, and oregano. Um, and it's really, really good, too. And those sautéed onions just make it. So, let me see what you guys are up to. Being English, you don't really understand bagels. Um, okay, so bagels. Um, they're round, of course, but they're kind of a bread. They're not quite like a bun. Uh, and let me show you this here real quick and see if I can explain it. They're, um, like, listen to this if you can hear it. Like, it's a tougher bread. It's almost the consistency of a really, uh, like, the bread itself is almost the consistency of... Uh, uh, of a soft pretzel that's gone slightly stiff, uh, and so it's a thicker, uh, cakier bread, and it's it's, um, but yet it's fluffy, and the outside has like a tougher skin on it, kind of like a pretzel, like that. Uh, but it doesn't taste like a pretzel. It's uh, it's more of a, I guess you'd say a neutral bread flavor. Um, <coughs> but with bagels, what you can do is like they they will sprinkle things on top of them. Like, some people prefer them sweet, so there'll be cinnamon and sugar. Uh, in this case, it's a savory one with Asiago cheese uh, melted into the top of it when it is baked. Um, so I've gone and added some cheddar because I wanted lots of cheese because I like dairy. All things dairy. Um, but bagels are, uh, bagels are sort of uh, an interesting creature. And then we put this together like this. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Uh, get it right in the middle there. Yes. 
<laughs> um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of just shimmy this knife down through it and cut it in half. Uh-oh. Come on. Cooperate with me. And then we sort of have a lovely little bagel sandwich, which is good. Um, and there you have it. But it's, I mean, bagels are really good. Uh, another thing that I find difficult to explain to people from the UK are our version of biscuits, because what you call biscuits, we call cookies. Um, and so, like, you know, chocolate chip cookies, you'd call these biscuits. Our biscuits are a different sort of confection entirely, uh, and they're a savory sort of thing. So, but, uh... Why put a hole in a perm? They're not like buns, in fact. They're, uh, they're, uh, I mean, well, they are kind of like buns, but they're a different consistency. Um, they're, they're more like a, uh, they're kind of like a cross between a baguette and a pretzel. Um, <laughs> what does? No. Oh. Yeah. You put them back together, and they're lovely. But yeah, so there you have it. Yeah, the chicken bagel is wonderful, dude. It's, um, you should see when we make Sloppy Joes on bagels. You have, like, the Sloppy Joe mix, and you stick it in a bagel, and you cut it, and it, like, it goes every freaking where, but it is so good. Um, yeah, the, uh, um, the onions are the best part, though, because I could just eat these things with a spoon. And in fact, I'm going to. <laughs> it looks real, yeah, it, uh, thank you. It, 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 I mean, it's, I'm, I'm sitting here just kind of eyeballing it, waiting to, finish the stream and then munch on it. Um, the fried chicken has also come out very, very good. And uh, again, it's like tavern style. This time we added um, mostly flour, but with a little bit of cornmeal. You know, we put um, salt and pepper and celery salt and a couple other herbs and spices in it. Colonel Sanders we ain't, but it came out really good. The breading is that like thick, uh, you know, tavern style, smooth sort of... Uh, smooth sort of thing instead of like that like chunky crispy stuff like you'd get at KFC which is nice too don't get me wrong but this is this is more the uh, this is more the old tavern style and I like that really well too sometimes well ladies and gentlemen uh, it's been a fun cooking stream but it's time to throw it over to someone so I can eat um, Cheese and ham with a bagel? Yes, a ham and cheese bagel are really good. I'm not even big on ham, and a ham and cheese bagel is good. Uh, you know what else is good? Salmon and cream cheese on bagels. Uh, or anything with cream cheese on bagels, really. Um, there's a bagel shop here, and they do honey walnut bagels. And if you take those honey walnut bagels, and you put strawberry cream cheese on them, ah. Oh. <laughs> They're, they're phenomenal, let me tell you. So, uh... The old... Exactly! The old tavern way. Uh, no problem, man. It's always fun having you guys in the kitchen. Um... Who is on? Uh... Oh, Battery Powered Specs is on! Well, now they're just... Uh, Battery Powered Specs has changed their name. They are now just Battery Specs. And we are going to raid them. <laughs> so lots of hype for their new name, lots of hype. They are a brother and sister pair of sibling streamers. They are funny, they are sweet, they are kind, and they are great people. And we're going to go pay them a visit. So let's raid battery specs. I got that right, right? Yeah, I need new glasses. Anyway, we're going to raid them. Thanks, man, I will. Have a great, uh, for you it's night. Have a great night, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by. Let's go raid Battery Specs. Night all!
Yep. <laughs> Good stream. 